ancillary services are a set of processes that enable the transportation of electricity around the grid while keeping the power system operating in a stable, efficient, and safe way. They are necessary to support the transmission of electric power from generators to consumers given the obligations of control areas and transmission utilities within those control areas to maintain reliable operations of the interconnected transmission system. There are two broad categories of ancillary services. 1. Frequency-related services. These include inertia, frequency containment reserve FCR, and Automatic Frequency Restoration Reserve AFRR. These services ensure that the grid frequency stays within a specific range of the nominal frequency. Mismatch between electricity generation and demand causes variations in frequency, so control services are required to bring the frequency back to its nominal value and ensure it does not vary out of range. 2. Non-Frequency Related Services these include reactive power and voltage control and congestion management. Consumer loads expect voltage within a certain range, and the regulators require it be within a certain percent of the nominal voltage. Reactive power can be used to compensate the voltage drops, but must be provided closer to the loads than real power needs. Other types of ancillary services provision include system restart, scheduling and dispatch, loss compensation, load following, system protection, and energy imbalance. Traditionally, ancillary services have been provided by large production units such as generators. With the integration of more intermittent generation and the development of smart grid technologies, the provision of ancillary services is extended to smaller distributed generation and consumption units. In the future, as we move to a more renewable system, the requirements for different ancillary services will continue to change. Power system ancillary services are necessary to support the transmission of electric power from generators to consumers, maintaining reliable operations of the interconnected transmission system. They include active power control or frequency control and reactive power control or voltage control. Frequency Containment Reserve FCR this is a mechanism used by transmission system operators to keep the electricity grid stable and reliable. It provides a rapid and automatic response to sudden changes in electricity supply or demand that helps stabilize the system frequency within acceptable limits. Automatic Frequency Restoration Reserve AFRR This is a type of reserve used to maintain the stability and reliability of the electricity grid. Unlike Manual Frequency Restoration Reserve MFRR, which can be activated manually by dispatchers, AFRR is activated automatically in response to a disturbance on the grid. Reactive Power and Voltage Control Voltage control and reactive power management are two facets of an ancillary service that enables reliability of the transmission networks and facilitates the electricity market on these networks. Reactive power can be used to compensate the voltage drops, but must be provided closer to the loads than real power needs. Congestion Management Congestion management is a strategy aimed at steering either the supply or demand of energy during peak periods, when the grid's capacity reaches its limit. It aims to optimize network capacity utilization, and on the long run, ensure the smooth integration of renewables. System Restart this is a process where a system is rebooted or restarted. In the context of power systems, this could refer to the process of bringing a power plant or a part of the grid back online after a shutdown. Scheduling and Dispatch This refers to the process of planning and controlling the operation of a power system. It involves determining which power plants should be operating at any given time, at what output level, to meet the fluctuating demand for electricity. Loss Compensation In the context of power systems, this could refer to the process of compensating for losses in the transmission and distribution of electricity. However, the term is also used in legal contexts to refer to compensatory damages awarded in lawsuits to compensate for damages, injury, or another incurred loss. Load Following 
This is a generic term for the essential grid operation of ramping supply sources up or down in response to changing load or supply conditions. Modern power plants can and do operate as load following power plants and alter their output to meet varying demands. Energy imbalance. Energy imbalance occurs when the rates of energy intake and energy expenditure are not the same, leading to a surplus or deficit of energy. In the context of power systems, energy imbalance refers to the situation where the supply of electricity does not match the demand. This can occur due to fluctuations in renewable energy generation like wind or solar power, changes in consumer demand, or unexpected outages. Distributed Generation and Consumption Units Distributed generation refers to the production of electricity by a variety of small, grid-connected devices known as Distributed Energy Resources DER. These systems can include multiple generation and storage components and are often located close to the load they serve. They typically use renewable energy sources and can be more flexible and efficient than traditional power plants. Efficient Consumption Systems SEU consist of at least one generation unit and a consumption unit directly connected with each other through a private network, without third parties' access, and directly or indirectly connected to the public grid. Integration of Intermittent Generation Intermittent renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar power, produce energy that is not constant but varies with environmental conditions. Integrating these sources into the power grid is challenging because it disrupts the conventional methods for planning the daily operation of the electric grid. Their power output can fluctuate over multiple time horizons, forcing the grid operator to adjust its day ahead, hour ahead, and real-time operating procedures. Smart Grid Technologies A smart grid uses digital technology for two-way communication between the utility and its customers and the sensing along the transmission lines. It includes controls, computers, automation, and new technologies and equipment working together to respond digitally to our quickly changing electric demand. Renewable System a renewable system refers to an energy system that relies on energy sources that are naturally replenished on a human timescale. These include sunlight, solar energy, wind, the movement of water, hydroelectric power, and geothermal heat. Renewable energy systems are rapidly becoming more efficient and cheaper, and their share of total energy consumption is increasing. These concepts are all interconnected and play a crucial role in the transition towards a more sustainable and efficient energy system.